Matt, sounds like Oscar Allen's going to be back this week. The team's getting taller and taller. How do you fit them all in? Yeah, I think um, he's obviously still got to get through training on Thursday and um, his name would definitely be th thrown in the ring. I'm not sure what level, we haven't spoke about that, what level we play at yet, but um, he'll be in the side over the next few weeks at least. And um, yeah, it's a good question. I think we're blessed at the moment to have a lot of healthy plays and especially in those tall socks, which has been a, a struggle in the past. So um, I think Adam Simo's got a bit of a um, task in his hands to fit them all in, but it'll be interesting to see what he goes with. I'm not quite sure what the answer is, but it'll be interesting to see how he goes with that. How have you settled? Yeah, I've settled well. Um, it's obviously been a big change coming across to WA and leaving Sydney, but um, mate, I've loved it. The club's been amazing and um, the boys are all great. I've built great connections already and um, I'm lucky to be at a club like West Coast where that you have got those, um, I guess, such a strong group already. Um, but no, mate, it's been, it's been great. I've set in really well. What's the biggest change coming to a club like West Coast from a club like GWS? Uh, I think it's a, ma a massive part is being in a footy state. So obviously in Sydney, you can head down to the beach and go to your local cafe and um, not have to worry too much about um, seeing people or having those conversations, running into people that you, you may know. But um, that's a, a blessing in its own right as well. Where we've got so many opportunities over here that you don't get over in, in Sydney. And um, West Coast is a huge club with so many connections. So it's got a rich history. Um, we're big on that at the moment about bringing those, uh, the, I guess, the past back into the, into the four walls. And that's an amazing thing that Pike has brought back to the club. So I guess, yeah, the history and just the size of the club has been something that I've noticed. What were your expectations when you arrived? Um, I guess arriving to the club, I don't, didn't really know. I kind of came in with not too many expectations on myself. I think I wanted to prove to myself and um, that I could play some good footy and be at a high stand. I've had some, I guess, some injuries in the past and also some form issues that have kept me out of the side. So I wanted to come across and uh, be part of a, a group that was growing and I knew there was going to be a lot of young talent. And before I got picked up, there was obviously speak about Harley coming across, which was exciting in its own right. So. I didn't have too many expectations. It was more just to, to come across and to give myself every, every opportunity to contribute to, I guess, my fullest. It sounds like Saturday was a pretty decent hit out during the bye. There's all this talk about how sides bounce back from the bye. Are you, are you guys confident that you can put your best foot forward after that really good hit match sim on the weekend? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, our lead up to the bye wasn't great. I think we had um, a couple of poor performances and we had a, a win in there too, which was great. But um, we feel like we let left a little, um, a couple on the table there in the, the last two rounds and I think uh, we came in hungry in the bye and the boys got a good session and then we were able to have a break and really get away from the club and just have a, a, a mental rest as well which I think is equally as important so um, yeah mate we're keen to get across to Melbourne this week un under the roof at Marvel and put our best foot forward. Has it been your experience previously that teams have sort of struggled to get up after the bye? Do you reckon there's anything in that sort of thing? Um, I think it, like in my past there was always conversation about it. I'm not sure what the record says about if it was um, a winning percentage, I guess you'd say, or winning margin coming off the buyer, but it's always talked about and how you best prepare for yourselves. And I think uh, I'm really confident that we've done the right thing. We've trained hard, but we've also had a break away from the club. So it um, hasn't been spoken about too much that fact. It's more about preparing well to play against Essen this week. But um, yeah, it is a, a funny one. Now that you've had a couple of looks at it, what have you made of your partnership with Bailey? Yeah, it's been good. I think there's obviously a lot to work on still, but Baz had a really strong um, start of the year, I thought, and he showed what he can do in the ruck in terms of his athleticism and his ability around the ground. And now he can get forward and um, he's flying for his marks and he clunked a couple here and there. And I think um, that's only going to grow for him. So we're starting to build that synergy. We're um, getting along really well off the field. We've already built a, a good bond, which is, um, which is awesome. Um, but no, I think it's, it's showing some positive signs, but there's uh, obviously some, some room to grow still. Will that mix be pretty steady, do you think? Or as you settle into the side, could you see him spending more time forward? Um, I think it'll be pretty steady. I'm not quite sure what um, Simo's thinking in that field. I think it was always going to be 70-30 or 60-40, and I think it's been that over the last two weeks. Um, but who knows, he might come out and kick five or six over the next few weeks and decide to leave him forward a little bit more than myself. How do you prefer for the Essendon Rucks? They've got two very different style of Ruckman. I yeah. imagine if it's Goldstein, it's a, it's a bit of a wrestle, and then you've got the athletic Draper. Yeah. Um, it's a, it is a funny one. I think you come across a lot of different rucks and you don't really get too many that are so different in the same game. So it will be interesting. I think if Goldie does the majority of the ruck, then that's probably someone that I'll go to. And then Baz, is, um, he uses his athleticism, his speed and his agility and 
probably matches up a little bit better to Draper. So whether that's the way we go it or it's just play your best footy and put your best foot forward and see um, how you go really is um, a question that I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I think we'll prepare um, as well as we can for both and see how we go. Did the, your pre-season and doing a lot of match sim with the Eagles mids, did that give you enough information as to what they like and, and how you can sort of like, uh, I guess, complement them? Yeah, definitely. I think um, you get in the midfield and at our, when we're fit and firing, you've got uh, TK, Yoey and Harley who are arguably the best midfield combination in the league. So um, that was exciting to see them. And um, I learned a lot. I learned that Harley likes to take blokes on. I learned that Yo is an absolute animal in the contest and TK can run both ways and has uh, a lot of speed and polish around the ball. So um, can't wait to get them back out there. But mate, we built a great connection in the, in the summer and it'll be good to finally get that partnership, I guess, back out there. Just circling back to uh, Oscar Allen returning, did you cross paths in the rehab group with him? And I guess, how was his leadership? Yeah, did mate. you personally as well? When being a part of not playing. Well. Yeah, obviously Oscar's a, um, a great leader in his own right. He's um, captain of the club for a reason. And um, yeah, we spent a lot of time, time in rehab together. We built a really good connection there. We um, spent a lot of time in the gym, um, our coffees, having lunch together and getting away from the club as well. And um, yeah, he really drove some really strong standards, which is something that the, the club's striving for here. And um, he embodies that as well as anyone. So. Mate, his leadership was great and can't wait to eventually get him back out there. Over, if it's this week, it's this week. If it's the next few weeks, it'll be, it'll be then. Do you think you'll feel it on the field? His yeah, for sure. Um, even watching his presence when he trains, he demands so much from his, the players around him. Uh, he's loud, he's vocal, but he also backs it up. He's a very good player, so I can't wait to watch him play. There are a few options down there now. What sort of a benefit is selection pressure for, for players sort of, you know, pushing each other along? Yeah, mate, selection pressure is, I think, um, as important as anything in, in a footy club. Um, no one's walking in and expecting to, I guess, roll through the motions in the sense. And um, everyone knows that if they're not pulling their weight, that there's someone knocking on the door that's going to come through. You already see that at the moment with, I guess, Yoi playing some great footy. And obviously it's on the back of him getting his body right. And he's a superstar, but you've got guys like Clay Hall and uh, Zane True and Jai Cully that were knocking the door down in the two. So um, it's something that we probably haven't had in the past with a lot of injuries and it's great to finally have it. There are a few clubs rolling with the, the ruck partnerships across the league at the moment. Do you think they're almost judged a little bit unfairly? Like, it feels like if, if Freo go well, it's Darcy and Jackson. If they go badly, it's yeah. Darcy and Jackson. Do you reckon they're judged pretty harshly when you're rolling the two? Mate, there probably is something there. I think um, those two are the two that probably get judged, judged the hardest, I think. And that's probably because they're the best at what they do. And I think um, that's part and parcel of it. There's a little tall poppy syndrome, syndrome um, in Australia in general. and. Um, Sean and Luke are two very good players and have their own strengths. So um, when yeah, when they play a good game of footy, it's the best thing in the world. And when they don't, they're the reason they lost. So um, using them as an example, it probably is. But um, yeah, I guess it's just part of the game.